Okie dokie. Great. Wonderful. It's nothing like busting my butt on a free lecture that I've been doing these past few days. Um, interestingly enough, and it's not interesting because there is a certain mentality out there that exists that uh, newer is better. And that certainly is true in some instances. Things that have gotten better in optics are uh, zoom lenses and uh, wide angle lenses. Oh, absolutely. Zooms and wide angles have gotten a lot better. What really hasn't improved, other than advanced autofocus motors for fastest focusing, faster focusing, that is not optics. That is autofocus acquisition and tracking. You could say, well, that's a superior lens, but that's not the case. When we actually talk about a lens, we're talking about the output. No matter how fast the lens drive or doesn't drive, has no bearing on the optical output as far as what the glass craps out the back end and onto the sensor. These are two lenses, and I'm sure a few of you have these, and probably because it's only my recommendation. There's, there's not any other YouTube photography channels talking about these lenses. I got the uh, Flickr links below for both of these lenses. Be warned, though, if you actually, oddly enough, both of these used in really good shape sell for an average of $300. I've seen, I've got six of these, which is ridiculous. Um, even a couple days ago, I saw a few of these for $280. There are two versions of this, both of which are 100% the same optically. They both are metal, and they have built-in lens hoods. Nikon still makes this lens, and it's $1,000. You can find them used all day long for $300. This is the most awesome silk sex and sugar, crotch-melting perfection, epic Tata's lens that you could possibly imagine. Um, buddy of mine who's... Uh, famous, very, very famous photographer. This is one of his favorite lenses. He shoots uh, covers for Vogue and L and Harper's. And If you actually look at the Flickr page for this lens, you'll actually see portraiture and images unlike anything you've ever seen, color saturation-wise, rendition, micro contrast, intertonal details. You want to render something in black and white? This lens is incredible. This is the 180mm 2.8 D-series uh, autofocus Nikkor. It is a screw drive lens. The reason why this old lens, and it's pretty old, it's been around for quite a long time, Nikon still makes this lens, is because the people out there that know what the hell is what with lenses, they love this lens. This lens is absolutely bleeping incredible. It's um, really, I'd place it in top 10 lenses that you could possibly buy. So far as Nikkor lenses, this is a top five lens that you could possibly buy, just period. For $300, this is the most incredible bleeping damn lens that you could uh, throw your money at. And I see them often for $300 in excellent shape. Don't ask me why I have six copies of this lens. Well, really, because sometimes I see them sold for like $250, and it's like, yeah. Maybe a day sometime soon where Nikon discontinues this lens, and its value is only going to skyrocket. So um, that's it. It's this lens. It looks uh, two different ways, either like this with the matte crinkled finish metal or the, uh, the shiny black plasticky looking finish. That's the older version. Both are exactly the same optically. That's 180 millimeter 2.8 Nikkor. Um, I can honestly say that you're a fool if you don't own this lens. This is, you step back uh, a few dozen yards, take a portrait shot with this, or a little further, take a full body shot. This lens is absolutely, unbelievably incredible. Bar none, there's not a chance in hell of you buying this lens and not falling in love with its output. Not a chance in hell. I have to be very specific on uh, uh, illuminating what the hell this lens is because there are nine different versions of the 300mm f4 Nikkor. Older AI, AIS lenses. There's the new AFS version, which I have. I have, I've actually owned all of them. Um, and then there's the new 300 millimeter phase Fresnel, which is insanely expensive. It they use the uh, Fresnel element uh, from the front element. It's an f2.8. Excuse me, it's an f4. Excuse me. Hello, I own the lens. I forgot about it. It's an extremely lightweight, ultra fast uh, birding lens for wildlife. It doesn't render good for portraiture. But it is one, you throw a 1.4 teleconverter on there, you have 420 millimeters at f5.6. It's just an incredible, super compact uh, uh, 
sports action wildlife lens. That's not that lens, that's this lens. Uh, that was that lens, excuse me. This is a 300mm f4 D series screw drive lens. It's uh, heavy as hell. This renders about 85% as good as the obnoxiously huge 300mm 2.8, of which I have three different versions of, which is ridiculous. Um, this also has the built in uh, filter tray. Um, this is a 37 millimeters on that, excuse me. Uh, this is a 300 millimeter f4 D series autofocus. This lens, it's also a low element count lens like the, uh, um, the 180 millimeter 2.8. This 300 millimeter uh, f4 is absolutely mind numbingly incredible. The compression you get, step back, take a headshot or a body shot. This lens is absolutely amazing. Neither one of these lenses are fast since they are mechanically driven screw drive lenses. So neither one of these lenses is really suitable for sports action wildlife. However, these lenses are mind-numbingly good if you're going to do black and white. Headshots, full body, torso shots, mind-numbingly incredible. Um, this lens is a top, 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 top value lens. Um, I actually I can't say enough good. It's impossible for you to even think about buying either one of these lenses and not being insanely happy with them. Uh, they're both heavy. They're both made in Japan. They're both metal. They both have built-in lens hoods. And uh, like I said, this one's not made anymore. That one still is. I wish this one was still made. Um, both of these lenses will just make you happier than a, uh, a pig rolling around in crap. Happier than a pervert in a porn shop. Both of these are tougher than woodpecker lips, and they are silk, sex, and sugar. Epic Tata's perfection output. Micro contrast, black and white, portraiture, compression, tonality, out of focus rendering. Unfreaking believable. Please check out the thousands of images below for these respective two lenses. Um, these uh, are my highest recommendation lenses for longer portraiture or longer black and white. Um, you can use them for a lot of stuff. I mean, you don't need super fast autofocus for some sort of action or some sort of stuff going on at uh, you know 100 yards out. I mean, your depth of field at 2.8 is not an issue where continuous autofocus or even single point autofocus is going to be an issue at these longer uh, focal lengths as far as the field of view on either 180 or 300. So these can respectively so under the correct circumstances be used for sports action and wildlife but both of these lenses are undeniably silk sex and absolute perfection no f you know six hundred dollars for both of these used you'd be so happy and these lenses will last you well beyond your lifetime they're absolutely incredible don't buy a new one of these for a thousand dollars because there's they've been around for decades and there's a lot of used copies out there people just they think when they see these in the camera stores which is where i usually find them oh that's some old crappy lens you know there's got to be something newer and better i could see that's an old turdy no this lens is better than anything made currently zeiss or uh, or leica would be envious of uh, this lens uh, having their badge on it this lens is incredible you can spend fifteen thousand dollars on a lens, like a hundred millimeters. I you can't you can't even touch this for three hundred dollars. If you if you spend fifteen thousand, you can't touch the output of either one of these lenses, and that's a fact. That's not my opinion. Sure, it's just your opinion. No, that's a fact. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, you can always click the link below and help out because I'm not a a paid for a shill or a schmuck. Not sponsored by anybody, and I'm not paid to say anything, and I have no affiliate links, so anything helps. Uh, thank you so much. Hasta luego, uvidimse, and all that stuff. Goodbye.